Hello everyone. So today we are going to uh, see and discuss how to document your API with the help of Swagger Open API. So basically in this lecture, I am going to show you how to use the Swagger Open API UI to uh, fetch the data and to do the operations. And also there you can see what are the configurations how to show the uh, response and the request body of your api so basically you can you can document your api and then you can share the url with the third person so that they will uh, have uh, the idea about your api that api that what it does and how it perform so basically i'm going to uh, show you how to integrate the swagger api in your spring boot project so for that already i have created one project here you can see with the name search so basically uh, the search spring boot project has an article so basically article content id and name so this is just the project i have created for the for the demonstration purpose so here id and name and i have created uh, the endpoints also so endpoints will basically uh, uh, add the article in the database so with this endpoint uh, add article uh, you can add the article in the database and with get all article uh, endpoint you can get all the articles present in the database and also there is one more endpoint with get by id and here in the url you have to pass the id and with this id you can fetch particular article okay so yeah so these are the endpoints present uh, and uh, you can see uh, it contains uh, the repository also and the service class so service class content uh, so basically i have used the jp repository uh, to save this article to find the article and to find this article by a particular id right so these uh, endpoint i am going to document so here you can see that we have not given any like, description about this uh, article controller class and also any description is missing about this endpoint that what it does and how it works and what are the responses uh, you will get if you uh, hit this endpoint so basically these things we are going to document uh, using the swagger open api and in the browser in the ui you can see all the documented data right so yeah so let's start it so basically you have to keep in mind to activate uh, open api swagger open api only you need to add the dependency in your uh, pom.xml so basically you can see that here i have pom.xml for this project so here you need uh, to only add one dependency so basically this dependency uh, will be open open api ui dependency so i have already kept this dependency let me copy and paste to here and inside uh, your pom.xml you can add this dependency so this is the dependency basically group id org dot spring doc and artifact id as an open upi right yeah so and the version number i'm using 1.6.4 so let me save this so you can see that it is building and it will download uh, the jar related to this open api and it will keep this in this maven dependency folder okay so let me uh, start this application search application yeah and after starting this application also i will show you in the postman how uh, these endpoints are working and then we will move ahead uh, with our open api so here you can see that our application has started on port number 8080 so let's move to the postman quickly 
so yeah so this is uh, like get all article uh, url so let's open this uh, controller class and in the controller class you can see this is the request mapping and the parent request mapping is like uh, search and then here we have get all article so let's uh, fetch all the articles uh, yeah so i have uh, some article data in the database so i am running in this port number 8080 in local and this is a get method so let's hit it so after hitting i get 200 okay status and you can see that these are some article data already present in my database okay so basically with this endpoint you can get all the article and with the add article you can add a new article in your database and with this you can fetch the article uh, from the database according to particular id but these things we are not going to check now i am going to see how uh, to document this endpoint so what step i have done first of all i have added this dividendcy okay so when you will add this dividendcy it means that you can uh, access the swagger api in your url so for that what you have to do uh, and after that i have started my server so basically uh, so this is the url uh, localhost 8080 uh, v3 api docs so with this url basically you can get all the information of your endpoint in a json format right so this will give you a sort of kind of a json data which will show you about your endpoints right so here you can see that uh, the version 0 server which server it is using and this is the path for add article right and here you can see the post method and yeah this is the controller and all this information you can get in a json now if you want to access uh, the ui of this then there is an another url which you have to access that is http 8080 swagger ui slash index.html so basically with this you can see a, a ui representation of your endpoint of your project has been opened so you can see that article search controller so this will be by default it will come article search controller the name of a controller and you can see that there are three endpoints uh, it's showing already that is the post method okay and this is the get method and from here also you can do the operation basically you can replace a postman if you don't want to do the operation from the postman then you can do from this ui so this ui is like pretty capable of doing uh, the api operations so let me show you how you can uh, do the operation so let's say that i want to fetch all the article data then here you can see that is a button try it out you can click this and then you can click on the execute method so this will do a request and in the response uh, so in the response body you can see that these articles are present in the database and from here you can download uh, the response also so it is quite pretty easy and in the header you can see that these informations are coming right and in the same manner you can do the post operations also so for that you have to uh, make a request body so basically you need to pass the request body and all right so for this uh, okay let me show you uh, id is not required in my project because i have kept it as an like generate automatic generated okay so name you can give anything uh, let's say um, uh, let's say ticket okay and uh, simply you have to execute so basically this is the request body and this is the post operation we are doing and this is the url and you have to execute it so once you will do the execution you can see that we got the response 3 id3 and the name ticket with the 200 code right yeah so in this way uh, basically you can do the post operation you can do the get operation in the similar manner you can uh, fetch uh, the particular id by the id also and here you need to give the particular id and then you can fetch let's say i'm giving id as 3 and execute so you can see that it fetches me the 
article number article detail with the id 3 let's say you want to fetch uh, the article with the second id then you have to put that id and then you can see that i am getting the id and then and the article name is 10 right so in this manner you can use this uh, open api ui also for doing the operations right so yeah so you can replace your postman with this so this is uh, from the swagger yeah so this is just the basic uh, uh, configurations so till now only we have added a dependency in your pom.xml and then and then we are ready with the swagger but now let's say that uh, you want to uh, yeah so before that uh, yeah so before that i will show you how you can change uh, this api doc so this is the default right so you can change uh, uh, the url of this according to your customization right so for that what you have to do so let me go to eclipse and then you have to open uh, property uh, application or properties file basically yeah so what you have to do for this uh, you can use this spring doc api doc dot path okay so in this uh, so with this spring dog dot api dot path and you have to give your customized path right so this is the path i have given and then you have to save it and again uh, you have to restart your application uh, and after that if we will go to chrome and here in place of basically api doc you can simply put search api so now with the search api in the url you can see that still you can uh, access this right so it means that this is working okay so now with the, your customized uh, url you can get uh, this json data so similar manner uh, if you want to customize uh, this url so this also you can do so for the ui i am talking about if you want to customize the url of the ui swagger ui then uh, you have to give this configuration in your application your properties file with spring doc dot swagger dot ui dot path and then you have to give your url right so let's say that this url you want to give for your application and you have to save it so and you have to restart your application so let me copy this let's move to this so so you have to paste this after 8080 port uh i think uh, application does not have started okay so like basically i have to restart my application again and then we have to try so with this uh, we can uh, uh, means use this okay so for now i will comment it out and then in the browser again this is for the api basically due to the cache it, uh, it was not working uh, let me restart this again so because like sometimes the cache takes so that's why it is not loading so basically you have to open with the private browser mode or you can clear your cache and then you can use this path but i but if the time comes to, and I'm not going to do this, you can try this. Uh, uh, yeah, so you can try this line of code, and then by clearing the browser, you will be able to access uh, the same UI with this URL, right? So let me go to the browser now. Okay. Quit. I think there is issue with my. So 
so it is started here let me see if i can hit with the postman yeah postman is working it means my application is up but here i am facing problem Yeah, so this comes uh, due to the cache problem. Uh, okay, let me copy this. It's better I will open into the new Unito mode. Now here I will try this. See, uh, now you can see that I am able to access the UI. So basically this happens uh, due to the cache problem. So either you have to delete your, uh, so that, uh, yeah, so you have to delete your, your, your like browser cache or you can use uh, simply the private mode. Yeah, so now, uh, so now I will show you how uh, you can customize, uh, basically customize your uh, title and the other properties okay of your endpoint or the class so you can see that here you are using open api definition right so let me go to the eclipse so in your main class here what you have to do so basically you have to use uh, this annotation open api definition okay so this uh, and you have to import this uh, with the io swagger so this is the one of the annotation you can use and then info equals to add the red info annotation and then uh, in this annotation you have to give the title so you can give the title according to your uh, requirement so title i have given like article search api version 2.0 description article information right so, and now i will save this and i will restart my application and now if i will go to the browser then here you can see that now it is coming article search api 2.0 right and with the search api and here you can see uh, this article information is coming here so basically with this uh, you can uh, give uh, the definition or the title of your application right so now uh, let's move ahead and let's see how we can give a change or define uh, these endpoints so basically in our controller class we have the three endpoints right so now we are going to document or change or give the description for every uh, endpoint so first of all i will give uh, uh, the name or the definition for this uh, class so for that uh, we have one tag uh, annotation with the add the red tag So we have a annotation tag and in this annotation tag we have a, you can write the name uh, like search api and also you can give the description as let's say article search api right let me save this and uh, automatically uh, the server will start and now if you will go to here then here you can see the changes basically see now you can see the search api article search api right so maybe i've given the wrong uh, spelling so that's why it's saying like that yeah so in this manner you can uh, change uh, this okay you can give uh, you can define uh, this uh, controller class in the same manner if you want to uh, define this endpoint then for that we have uh, the another another an an annotation like operation okay so inside the operation you can write the summary you can give the summary let's say this endpoint what it does it get all articles right 
and uh, yeah so this is uh, the summary of this endpoint in the similar manner you can uh, define what are uh, the responses you can uh, means get from this so for that we have the the another annotation with the api response and then in that we have the response code so let's say uh, response code is 200 okay and here the description you can give uh, as let's say if we got 200 then we will say we found the data right found all articles right and uh, and also uh, you can define the content of it so for that we have another uh, text like content and here you can define so inside the content again we have the content annotation uh, and inside the content annotation you can give uh, the media type whether you are using json or file or xml right so for that you can give the media type and media type you can give let's say uh, application slash json right and in the similar manner you can uh, give uh, the schema okay so schema means uh, that response will be the response will be stored in which uh, like model class so for that we have a schema annotation already present here let me put enter here yeah so here we have another annotation uh, schema and in the schema uh, basically uh, we have uh, the implementation okay and in the implementation you can give your class name so basically i'm going to give my entity class name article dot class so basically uh, here what i did first i have given the summary of this endpoint that is will come as get all article and then there is one annotation api response so basically in this you can define different different uh, response code let's say if uh, 200 comes then it will describe as found all article and then the content is like json type and a schema is article dot json right so this is the one of uh, uh, the response you can define if you want to define another like responses other responses you can do that uh, simply let add one more uh, with the same annotation API response and then we have a response code now let's say a response code is 404 so basically if we will get a 404 then what you want to say uh, in description let's say article not found okay so article not found So in this way, you can define n number of responses which you are expecting. So you can define and document here, right? Yeah, so here what we use, here we have used add the red tag. So basically this will define your controller. And then if you have to document or describe your endpoint, then you can use add the red operation annotation. And then in the summary, you can give uh, your detail. And if you want to document all the responses which you are expecting, then add the red response and then you can define the schema and also the content type. Okay, so let me save this. And now I will show the difference how it will look in your UI. So let's move uh, here. So now you can see that before refresh, uh, I have done changes in get all article, right? So here you can see that there is no information, much information is showing here right only code okay description is there right and there is no response as much anything and there is no uh, so let me refresh this so after refreshing you can see that i am getting uh, the description of this endpoint get all article so by this you will uh, any developer or anyone will understand okay so this endpoint is for getting all article right and if you will expand this you can see all the responses now here you can observe with the 200 code uh, the description is found all article and also this is uh, right and this is the media type it's showing 
in the similar manner we have added one more 404 so if 404 comes that means that article not formed so in this way you can add more responses and you can describe uh, whatever you want uh, in your endpoint right so this is for uh, describing the endpoint right so in the similar manner uh, you can uh, put uh, the description for the other endpoints also so let's uh, see the another endpoints for the add article okay so in the similar manner you can uh, add here so let me copy this operation and i will put it here so basically uh, for every endpoint you have to put a separate separate annotation because every annotation has a different summary right so this get all article will give uh, information like get all articles this add art, uh, add article will give uh, the another summary so that's why you have to add a separate annotation for this so let's say this says add article in database in db okay so this is a summary in the similar manner uh, uh, okay so here i will show you one more thing uh, earlier uh, we have not used here uh, the description right but now with the add we can use description also so let me add and show you the difference so in the description you can describe more uh, you know more word like add article to save article in database right so in this manner you can give like more description about this api right and in the similar manner if you want to add response then you can do this so let me add uh, copy this uh, paste it here and now i am going to change uh, uh, 200 description now uh, let's say description as uh, added article article in db right so content and all things uh, we can keep it if you want or you can remove it uh, so let it be there okay in the similar manner you can add uh, 404 but 404 is uh, will not be there uh, but you can use uh, like something 500 okay so let's say 500 uh, 102 uh, so basically 500 for server error right so you can define the particular response code and you can also define here uh, the description as a server not found or server error right let me save this so for this uh, add article endpoint now we will see the difference in the ui so so here you can see that till now in that article we don't know uh, it does not have any more information that what this endpoint do right if i will expand this then here you can see that there is no like uh, much information about the code and all right so let me rephrase this now you can see here in the post in the add article you can see that add article in db and this is uh, the description we added right add article to save article so this is give you the more information about this endpoint in the similar manner in the response code we have added 200 added article in db and 500 server not found right so in this manner uh, you can document uh, for your endpoints right and for this uh, you have to give these annotations to your every endpoint because every endpoint have their different different summary and their descriptions because every endpoint do a different task right so this is uh, all about how to uh, means document your api using swagger open api so what steps i did simply i added uh, the dependency in my pom.xml this dependency so it will by default activate your swagger and in the browser by accessing this you can get a simple uh, ui but with a minimum information about your endpoint if you want to define the more information of your endpoint then you have to uh, use uh, these uh, annotations for this control class this and for your endpoint you can use this right and also for overall defining your project if you want to define a uh, summary then you can use open api definition article search api and article information in a description so like this manner you can add a, a description or document your api 
so the so the last thing i will try to do uh, that you uh, if you want to disable uh, this api doc basically uh, let me try yeah uh, okay so this api doc is not working with the cache problem oh, okay uh, maybe i have changed oh sorry i have changed the path right mm -hmm. yeah so this is the search api now let me go yeah so with this you will get a json data about your uh, all the api information right so if you want to disable that no one uh, will use this url to access then you can also do that by going to your uh, application.properties and here you have to use this uh, application doc dot api dot enable as true or you can mark this as false and you have to save this <clears throat> So now you will see if I will try to access this, then I will get wild label error page because I have purposely uh, disable uh, this API doc URL, right? So basically this API doc URL is to get the JSON data and this UI is basically uh, a uh, API doc dot path is basically, uh, sorry, uh, the swagger UI path is basically used to uh, get uh, the UI of your documentation, right? Yeah, so yeah, so like I hope uh, this lecture is useful for you uh, Yeah, so thank you